Look at it. It's freaking bats. I love Halloween. Hello, and welcome to my very first nail art video. Uh, I'm very excited to finally be posting a nail art video. I've been thinking about it for a very long time. Um, this video uh, will feature the Sophia Hollow Taco collab uh, products. I was so excited about that collab. I've been following Christine and Sophia both for a very long time, and I have a lot of Hollow Taco products. Uh, but I do actually mainly work with gel products. I've been doing my own gel nails at home for about two years now. Um, so you will see me using some gel products in this video as well as the Sophia Hollow Taco products. So currently I'm putting on a gel base coat. And I do have the Apre Gel X extensions on. I cut my nails in the summer and it was a mistake. I hated it. Uh, so I am in the process of growing them back out, but for the time being, I am wearing extensions until they get long enough. Um, but yeah, I do my own nails at home, been doing them at home for about two years, and I've been wanting to post nail art videos for um, a long time. And I'm excited to finally be doing some uh, spooky season nails. And so I hope you enjoy. Um, I still need to figure out a better angle for the camera because my head kept getting in the way. Um, but hopefully I will be able to post more nail art videos and hopefully you guys will enjoy them. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into the video. So I'm starting off by putting the base nail polishes down. I obviously wanted to get these down as soon as possible before going in with the nail art because I wanted these to dry all the way. So I'm putting Feeling Fiendish on my ring finger, I'm putting Spirit Fingers on my middle finger, and I'm putting Bat Bitch on my thumb. And I do go in with two coats of these, and I think Spirit Fingers, I did three coats to really, you know, truly make it opaque. Um, but these colors are so beautiful. So for my pointer and pinky finger, I am doing a sort of gradient of brucey into my natural nail. I did put a nude gel polish down first because I didn't want my extension to be seen. Uh, it ended up not being seen at all, so it's kind of an unnecessary step. Um, but then when I start uh, kind of feathering brucey on. I was going back and forth with a sponge and a brush because I just suck at doing gradients. Um, I think I just need to cut up a brush to, you know, make it easier to feather polishes. Um, but I go back and forth multiple times to build up the opacity. Um, so the tip of my nail is very opaque and it kind of fades into the natural nail. And I don't show it, but I do repeat these steps on my pinky nail to also create the gradient effect with Brucey. Next, I am going in with a very thin layer of gel top coat. Before I put any gel top coat on any of my nails, I make sure that the regular nail polish is absolutely dry 100% of the way. And for this, um, I am putting the tiny little bat glitters that came with the Sophia Hollow Taco collection on my ring finger on top of Feeling Fiendish, and I just move them around until I like the placement, and then I will cure the gel top coat. The next nail I'm doing is my middle finger on top of the spirit fingers. The tip I am making to look like little cat ears, so I'm taking a black gel polish and taking a very slim, slender liner brush, and I am starting off with a semicircle towards the tip, and then I will drag uh, that polish up into points to create the effect of cat ears and once I am happy with the shapes I go back and forth with acetone as well when I'm doing nail art until I'm happy with the outcome um, but once that's set I cure it and then I go in with some white polish to do the little eyeballs and then I cure that as well 
So now the nail art on the thumbnail, and I guess you could say this is the more fun nail. Um, whenever I've shown my nail art to, you know, friends, family, whatever, they always say that this is their favorite one. Uh, so this is a skeleton hand. I will put up the reference photo that I used now. So I put this up on my computer screen in front of me and I am just looking back and forth at the reference photo as I am laying out the shape. I am using a white gel polish. Uh, gel is very forgiving with nail art because it does not set until you cure it so you can take as much time as you need when you're doing nail art uh, to kind of get the, the art exactly how you want it before setting it um, and so i go back and forth between the white gel polish and i take a very slender brush and i also go in with some acetone to clean up edges and in between the little like skeleton knuckle bones and all that stuff so it's a lot of detail work with this um, and it definitely took me a long time um, probably the unedited footage of this was like 30 minutes um, but i think it turned out really well and then once I am happy with the shape of my little skeleton hand, uh, I put it under the UV lamp and I cure it to set, to set it. So for my pinky nail, I am putting a single bat right near the cuticle. So I put a thin layer of the gel top coat down and then took my little liner brush to put a single bat on the pinky nail and then on the pointer finger I am drawing a half moon with white gel polish and I use acetone of course always got to use acetone to clean up your work and I uh, go back and forth with the white gel polish until I'm happy with the opacity of my moon and you know until I'm happy with the shape and then I cure that as well I wasn't showing this the whole time, but I was putting final gel top coats on all of my nails as I went, and my thumb I had just left for last, so this is what that is. So when I'm done with all the nail art, I put a final gel top coat on all my nails, and I kind of make sure that everything is even, and I make sure the apex looks good, and all that jazz that you do with uh, gel polish. Um, but that is it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, if you can really call it a tutorial, it's kind of just a video on the nail art I did, um, but I really enjoyed uh, kind of sitting down and filming this, even though it takes me so long to film, um, but I was also happy, really happy with how the nails turned out. I kind of wanted this witchy vibe, um, especially using the back glitters that came with the Sophia Holo Taco collection, so it's kind of why I went with the, the cat ears and the moon and all that jazz, so I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!